So this whole time you've been pretending to be the father? Yes. Okay. Okay, well you and Madison go your own ways and then uh, you come on home. Jerry, your house is not my home. Well, it should be. It's our family's home. All right, look, you and I, we may share the same last name, but come on, JR. That's about as family as you and I get. Oh, we're family whether you like it or not, whether you like me or not. I'll give you the East Wing. The house is big enough. Yeah, okay, I see. So if I move back in, then maybe Marissa will come around too? Yeah, that's right. And that'll make AJ happy. You and Marissa are friends. God knows Colby needs all the support she can get. Yeah. Saw the video. Exactly. Great news. Guess what I... Oh, hi, JR. Hey. Hi. Yeah, JR was just leaving. Um, you know, it sounds like a great idea, but I think I'm going to pass. I think you're making a mistake. Well, no big surprise. We disagree, right? Hey, look, um, I'll call you, though, sometime. Okay. Thanks for... Thanks for coming by. Family. So, tell me. How'd it go today? No, 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 no. And tell me what that was all about with JR. Oh, he just wanted me to get in on some investment, that's all. What, like a money investment? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I told him that the only investment I'm making these days is in cheeseburgers. So enough about that. Tell me, how did it go today at Fusion? Yeah, and I, and I know you guys are putting extra men on the case, and I really, really appreciate that. Right. Well, well I was just hoping for some kind of a breakthrough. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Something about Emma? Yeah, see, uh, one lead we had fell through. I'm sorry. Spike said a prayer for Emma last night. Yeah. We need all the help we can get. And, uh, about Madison. Yeah, surprise, huh? Yeah, uh, I guess, uh, under normal circumstances, I would say congratulations. Thanks. It's true, the timing of it pretty much just kind of sucks, that's all. Yeah. Well, at least the three of us have each other to, to count on. Yeah, we do. And that, that means a lot. They're going to find Emma. I know they will. And this whole thing with Madison, it's all going to work out. Yeah. I mean, look at us. We made it work with Spike, didn't we? Most of the time. Hey, this is Colby. I can't take your call right now, so you know what you have to do. I have to believe in myself before anyone will believe in me. Ugh, yeah, right, I... Hey, am I, uh, interrupting the next big viral video? Okay, who says I'm gonna make another video? Well, unless my mother slept with some other guy and I need to tell the world about it. Beats me. <sighs> they got a lot of fans. Hmm, I have, uh... Samsung 623 and a Clawhead 9. I mean, that could be some crazy guy with 200 screen names. Well, PB Punker's not a crazy guy. She actually thinks she's pretty cool. Putting it all out there. Who's PB Punker? Uh, she works at the uh, coffee shop. Nose ring, kind of shy. Well, she keeps checking the site to see if you post a new video. Well, she wants to know all the dirty details about Cougar mom, that's what they're calling my mom, cougar mom. No, I think she just wants to hear someone speak the truth. Not everyone, you know, have a lot of that in their lives. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd warn you, because you might have to sign an autograph next time you want one of your jelly donuts. <laughs> oh, and um, I think it'd be pretty cool if you posted another one, too. You're pretty fired up when you got back from JR's. What happened? I told you, JR wasn't there. So I've moved on. 
what happened. Tell me something. What do you intend to do about your son, about Asher? We just don't get along. Well, you should. Palmer wanted you to be reunited. It was Palmer's last will and testament that got all of this started. <clears throat> Well, that's my problem, Dorothy, not yours. That's not true. It affects me, too. It affects the way we can run this business together. That's a pretty interesting justification for sticking your nose in my business. You two fight constantly. And I know how badly you want that to end. Not anymore in this conversation. Well, I have finally figured out a way to put an end to it. Hmm. If you're interested. Okay, so my mother slept with my boyfriend. We all know that horror story now. But it got me thinking. It's not just boyfriends and it's not just mothers that break up with you. Every day, people, they know the right thing to do, but they end up bailing on you, blowing you off. They're like, I am so sorry. Was I supposed to have your back? Oh, so sorry, it's my bad, it's so my bad. And you know what? Sorry, it doesn't cut it. And yes, it is your bad. But we as people, we, we understand that it's life and things happen. Even though that's not how we really feel. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm going to make a promise. Not to wimp out on telling people. <laughs> and as, as my friend uh, Asher would say, he would say, man up. And I say woman up to. So maybe that's what we should all start doing. Start calling people out on breaking things up. And maybe the world wouldn't be such a lame place. And things like family and love would actually last. I've known Colby Chandler forever. I've watched her grow up. She's had a really rough time of it, a very hard time, and a horrific mother. But now she seems to want to change her life. She seems to want to take more control. Why are we even talking about her? Because your son is still clearly interested in her. So, if you want to get your son back on your side, the path might very well be through Colby Chandler. So I said, I think I've earned a bigger role here at Fusion. Yeah, and what did Greenlee say to that? Um, after a long, scary stare, she made me project director of the new line. That is awesome. Yeah. That, come here. <laughs> I am so proud of you. That oh, is, me too. That is so, so great. So, why'd you lie to me just now? Well, I'm sorry, lie? I could tell JR didn't come here to talk about some investment deal. No, he didn't. Um, okay, the truth is, when I told him that I wasn't the father of the baby, he wanted me to move back into the mansion. Leave this lovely place to you and the baby. And you lied about that because? Because then I'd have to explain why I'm sticking it out here in this grimy apartment, rather than moving back into a mansion that has comfy beds, reliable heat, servants, gourmet cook. I don't really have an explanation. Except that I, um... I prefer it here. Closer to work. Exactly. It was nice seeing you and Kendall together so close, being there for each other. Yeah, and for you. She was so shocked to hear that Madison was... <clears throat> Pregnant with your baby. And you've been handling it so well. I mean, you hardly even seem surprised. I guess because I've just been more focused on you. The man I love, the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. What? Why, what is it? Well, you, you say the rest of your life. I mean, you realize that that could involve another child, right? I realize Matt Madison has made it clear that's not what she wants, but it's not all up to her. I mean, 
You know that, right? Of course I do. Of course I do. Why are you following me? I'm not. You scared me half to death. And yes, you are. Get over yourself, Kendall. Come on, Griffin. I'm not stupid. You're following me. Listen, I know, I know you're being protective of me, but you can't do this anymore. You told me that I'm healthy and I feel great. All right? So everything is fine and it's time to let this go. You're right. You were sick. I fixed you. It's time to let go. Thank you. It's not your health that I'm worried about now, Kendall. 